पेंटैन फाइव ओइक एसिड सो दिस इज द टोटल नेम इफ यू शो दिस नेम टू समवन दिल प्रोबेबली गेट स्केर्ड so this is about functional groups i mean naming with more than one functional groups so we have more nomenclature actually like if we have a double bond and sorry a triple bond along with alcohols acids then what would it be but we'll not go into such detail right now this is sufficient for our study we now go into a very major part of this chapter which is chemical properties of carbon compounds okay so chemical properties refers to basically the reactions with different substances one basic chemical property is your combustion which all carbon containing compounds will show and even if we have ch4 or c2h6 or c2h2 or c3h6 all these on reaction with oxygen that is combustion that is your combustion will give rise to carbon dioxide water and heat so no matter what the carbon compound is all the carbon uh, compounds will on combustion give rise to carbon dioxide water and heat heat is the form of energy which is released in your uh, this cooking gas and all they burn hydrocarbons only this carbon containing compounds and they get and this energy is used to you know cook the food and all now no we have talked about saturated compounds which are only single bond containing compounds there are no double bonds so the saturated compounds they burn with a clean flame and unsaturated compounds burn with a sooty flame and they give rise to lots of smoke and stuff so if we want to cook something then which compound should we burn obviously saturated compounds because they burn with a clean flame we don't want sooty flame soot on our 
cooking vessels and lots of smoke in the kitchen so we use saturated compounds and your cooking gas mainly contains butane but if these saturated compounds do not have enough oxygen it is in lack of air they too will burn with a sooty flame so basically when your gas when you have you know soot deposited on your vessels and there is lots of smoke while cooking so it means that your air holes are blocked that means the air cannot i mean there is not enough air to support this combustion of your saturated compounds so you need to clean your air holes over here now these carbon compounds also have some specific reactions like there is one reaction which is oxidation actually first one was combustion so we can write this as 2 now as we know oxidation means addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen or that addition of electronegative element and whatever but here we are con concerned about addition of oxygen so we have this compound CH3OH oh okay let me not draw this bond CH3OH this is methanol this if you treat with alkaline KMnO4 this is potassium permanganate and heat or if you treat it with acidified k2cr2o7 this is potassium dichromate you get this h C O O H, which is your methanoic acid. Now, these alkaline K M N O four acidic K two C R two O seven, they do not disturb the number of carbon atoms over here because they don't contain any carbon atoms. So they can't add or they can't. They don't take away carbon atoms. They only add. another oxygen atom in the formula and what actually this coh bond becomes a cooh bond this kmno4 and k2cr2o7 also they release your nascent oxygen is oxygen atom and this oxygen atom gets attached to this alcohol there is a whole full fledged mechanism of this reaction which we will not go into for that we need to know more things so if you have something like c2h5oh and if you add 
your alkaline KMnO4 or acidic K2CR207, it will basically become CH3COOH because the number of carbons should remain same and this alcohol changes to an acid. So, this is your oxidation. They just add one oxygen to the uh, carbon chain and obviously they take away one hydrogen also. I mean two hydrogens, sorry, because adding one oxygen, two bonds requires breaking two bonds with hydrogen. So, they take away these two hydrogens and add the oxygen double bond. 